the first thing you have to realize is that listen, you have received of his grace. You have received of the fullness of God. Of his fullness have already received grace for grace. What is grace for grace? From one level of grace to another level of grace. Amen? Yeah. Of his fullness we have received. Grace for grace. Glory to Jesus. I like to read the way the new English translation reads verse 16. It says, For we have all received from his fullness one gracious gift after another. So when you read the scriptures, you have to look at the tenses that are being used. And so it says, For we have all received. No one shall receive, or we may receive. No, we have all received. It is something that has been accomplished. In the sacrifice of Jesus, you must believe the report of God. And that's why Isaiah, does have to fully ask who has believed that report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed. It says, we have all received of his fullness one gracious gift after another. <laughs> Glory to God. In 2024, you are going to move from one gracious gift to another. In the name of Jesus, every day of your life, one gracious gift to another. One gracious gift to another. One gracious gift to another. One grace to another grace. In the name of Jesus, your life will be a life of the manifestation of the grace and truth of God. In 2024, in the precious name of Jesus. Glory to God. Grace upon grace. That is one way another person puts it. Grace upon grace. Grace upon grace. You have already received. The reason why you are expressing this grace upon grace is because you have already received of his fullness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 